how am I going to cope with this? I've got to move. I've got to do something about this. Otherwise, something nasty might happen to me tomorrow and nobody wants that drunk before the fan, so just give me a second. Is that, a, is that a bit better? I think it probably is. Right, welcome to the show. It is the second episode, well, actually, it's the third episode of the Essex programme, but it's the second time we're going to do the special, which is a review of what's happened on the, the thing. Let's get to, let's get started then. The only way is up, baby. So you love me now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, yes, um, now some key points to remember for this episode is that Bobby uh, is 31. Gemma is thinking about turning vegan. Lockie, remember we mentioned Lockie last time, him and the girlfriend are having a a dinner with her parents and th the grandma. Big news is that Lauren and Jeff, no, what's that say? John, Lauren and John have split up. The first point then happens quite early on, about nine minutes in. It's this. But I think Amber crying to you done her the world of good because you didn't know where you stood with Amber. Now we know she's got a heart, you know what I mean? I do apologise, by the way. I never gave you any background to that clip. But the point of this is kind of like, she, she, she says, it, she's really pleased that this girl started crying. Because, because thanks to the fact that she was crying, we now all realise that she's actually probably got some emotions. What I will say is I've seen this programme and the girl who was crying has cried previously. The fact that she is crying is a good thing. It's a good thing, Grumpy at 40 fans, because now we know that at least she's alive. It's a, it's a good, it's such a good thing, the fact that she was crying and she was hurt, because now we know that actually she probably felt like she needed to cry. It's fucking ridiculous. Next is this man here. Every day. When you know, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Again, no introduction to, to what's going on here. And also in these episodes, what I've noticed is that every time somebody comes up, it doesn't matter how much you know them or are aware of them, their name constantly comes up at the bottom. Now I'm not doing that. I don't do that for me, so fuck it. But, uh, and maybe I should. That's a good point, actually. And, no, too late. We're, we're far too far into this now. His name is Hamid. He is the father. He's a father. He looks like 14. And he spends his time during the whole episode doing that face. I think, actually, he says about three words uh, towards the end, okay? But it's essentially that fucking face. Right, let's move along to the next point, point three. Okay, so this is John prior to the split up that we mentioned earlier, and he says this. I mean, get along with her really well, so I'm just to see how things plan out, aren't we? I just need you to keep it real. Right, let's listen to that. Let's listen to that again, because you must have heard it. Let's listen to it again. Just to see how things plan out, aren't we? One more time. <laughs> One more time. Just to see how things plan out, aren't we? Uh, and again. Just to see how things plan out, aren't we? Slow it down this time. <laughs> right. He definitely says, there is no question, see how things plan out. He did, didn't he? As you know, John, uh, it is pan out. The term is pan out. Right, next. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah of course. Um, here's a, another photograph. That is what a gym looks like, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've been in a gym. Uh, I walked through a gym before. It looked a bit different to that. It also looked like more was going off. What these four characters do whilst they're at least in the gym is stand, fucking chatting. With makeup on mind, and then this happens. You know he does, like you see it. What do I do to Tommy Ryan? I know, I don't need to hear him, I know, and that's like... It wouldn't be an episode of The Only Way is Essex without Megan doing a very ugly cry. <sighs> 24 minute mark and Bobby sexually harasses another man. Let's watch it. Don't you tip He's got the wrist action. Check you from behind. Right, take the bubbles. And you're very tickly, lovely bit of fire. Bobby, Bobby's waiting to you today, this is hilarious. Bonnie, you were like... You know, the more I watch uh, Bobby, I... Uh, I have a suspicion that he might be gay. I don't know. 
Anyway, if a lass came into my office, or wherever, barn, and had no clothes on, and then I got a fucking tickling that stick out, and tickled her arsehole, and my mates were watching, and the fucking camera crew, I would suggest I would be in the papers by the following Tuesday. At least the following Tuesday. There is, should be a warning that says, warning, this episode contains an, a male sexually harassing another male. It's, uh, next, uh, G- Georgia and Archie. I'm guessing it is name. Fucking, I don't know what his name is. I didn't write it down. I'm just trying to think. I can't think what his name is. Anyway, not even Georgia. Jasmine. Something like that. Right, okay. Basically, the w- Lucky. I did write it down. I just wrote it a couple of lines down. It's all right. Yeah. Jasmine, or Yasmin, or Yaz. I, fucking hell. They've gone to a shop to buy, because they're moving in together. They've gone to this shop to buy some furniture. How nice. It's nice. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the only thing I've put on here is, what's this fucking shop? What what on earth is this shop? If it comes to it and one of you lot wants to allow me to move into your house and you're stuck in your house with that shite, I'm moving straight out. In fact, I won't even get to the front door. Right, okay, next, 27 minutes. Lauren is meeting John. He's obviously said, I've set up a little date for us. Here's the location details in a text. Because that's what you would do, right? Now, I usually have respect for Lauren and not for John, but um, this is what she says. Cheers. Cheers. It's a good job you text me, otherwise I would never have known where to find you. Well, yeah. Unless you tell somebody where you're going to be and and you say you're going to meet them, then where, the world's a fucking big place. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen it from the outside, looking down. Uh, some people have. But you just go, there could be a lot of places. And certainly to walk to, none of these couldn't seem to drive. I tell a lie, one of them's driving earlier, so they probably do drive. Right, next one. Gemma has had an epiphany. She doesn't call it that. I'll see if I can find it on the clip. But she's had an epiphany, and it is, I probably want to start helping animals more. One way I can start helping animals more is to stop drinking milk, and this is the reason that she gives. I've had an awakening, and all I want to do now with my time and my money is save animals. The other day, I had a cup of tea, I was drinking the milk in the tea, and I could smell the calf being ripped from the mother. Grumpy at 40 fans, if you were at episode 53 or something like that right now, we're over 50 episodes, if you if you watch every day, then I shouldn't need to even comment, you, or everything will be whirring around in the cogs in your brains right now. Okay, so let's move on. And we're at that point of the week, it's going to be a new feature in every single episode of Tarry, or maybe just Mondays, or maybe just Thursdays, or maybe just Mondays. And I've, it's what I'm calling uh, the the use of the word literally of the week. The, the best use of the word literally of the week. I'll probably have some theme tune, but uh, this was it. I actually think this is all ridiculous. Like, I'm not here for an argument. I had literally kept my mouth shut. To recap then, she says, I've literally kept my mouth shut. I hope that's given you enough insight and I certainly hope it's enough to draw you back into next week. It's fucking hell. I've never had so much fun watching a TV show in all my life, thinking about how I'm going to convey it to you guys. Or one or three of you. Or one or three of you. Uh, and seriously though, that's it. That's the end of the episode. We're going to see you tomorrow. Goodbye! Oh, that's bullshit. No, I've had enough now. <laughs> oh, grumpy at 40.